Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World, and welcome to this week's must have. Now, there's actually going to be two must haves today, so keep an eye out because there's going to be another must have, a special edition must have, but I we have to talk about this absolutely beautiful weapon guys which is the yeoman the yeoman is it's one of my favorite weapons it is an incredible sniper weapon with a lot of damage and uh it's very forgiving in the accuracy sense you guys know i'm not the greatest shot but this weapon is just i love it i love it for many reasons so in this video we're going to talk about we're going to talk about my favorite perks for this weapon. Uh, we're going to talk about the fact that it is currently in the weekly shop. That's why it's a must have for this week. And we're going to talk about what hero loadouts I recommend to use with it as well as what perks I recommend to do with it. Uh, but first, you guys know that every single week I do a must have video and it's about a video. Uh, it's about a weapon or a hero or something in the game that I think is a must have currently in the game. And uh, like I said, this week's is going to be the Yeoman. So let's go over into my my schematics first and let's go take a look at my current Yeoman. Now, actually, I don't believe that I have. Let's see. I don't believe I have another one. I don't believe I have another Yeoman in here yet. Uh, let's see. No, I think that's the only one. That is the only Yeoman I have. So you better believe that I'm going to buy another one. Now, you may be wondering why. Well, why am I going to buy it? Uh, well, this Yeoman is currently a Sunbeam one. I want a... I want a Obsidian, then Brightcore one. I'm really, really liking Brightcore weapons because of the rate of fire, because of the durability, and most importantly, because they are so much cheaper. You guys are going to see what I mean that in that sense. Uh, don't need to use certain materials that... Uh, Obsidian and, 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 and Brightcore weapons use up materials that are a lot easier to find, I feel. So... Let's go ahead and start by doing this. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to buy mine. Now, like I said before, uh, let me, you guys may be wondering, why do I need two? Oh, well, I actually recommend that you have three. I recommend that you have three of every hero, three of every schematic or anything like that, just to cover all your bases. And why do I recommend three? Well, the first one I recommend for you to have one, uh, either Sunbeam or Brightcore, whatever you choose to have. Then I recommend for you to have one, another one, so you can put it in your collection book. And finally, I recommend you have the third one, so you can have one too that will be opposite. Like more specifically, you can have a sunbeam that's going to be all critical, and you could have a obsidian one that's going to be all fire rate or something like that. You can kind of go between uh, different things. You can make a, a headshot one, and you can make a a critical one or a damaged one or an impact one and also don't forget that we have multiple different attributes so you could have an energy one and a fire one etc etc like that now technically you could have five or six of the same weapon you could have let's say one of every attribute one of every attribute and sunbeam one of every attribute and they're all bright core you could you could have you could have dozen or like a dozen actually um but that's a little too much <laughs> so i do recommend just to have three and you can change around the attributes or the perks as much as you want so let me go ahead and buy this one right there the copper yeoman and let's go find it and we're gonna start working on it we're gonna start working on this guy because where is he there he is um i want to take it up to i'm actually gonna work on this one and i'm gonna show you guys what i'm going to build this one as and i'm going to show you my previous as one one as well so let's take it all the way up to actually i don't know if we're going to fully work on this one in this video because my other one is actually pretty good already uh but i do want to take it up to the part where we have to choose whether to make it obsidian or shadow shard and there show you guys the difference in what i mean so if we go here all the way up we're gonna make it obsidian so we're going to go to obsidian and we're going to show you guys the difference here all right there we go so if we go over here to the evolve part we can check if it's going to be obsidian or if it's going to be shadow shark if it's going to be obsidian it's going to need uh blasting powder sleek mechanical parts active power cells and obsidian ore and that's not really going to change that much if we make it shadow shard it's going to need 
crystal quartz which you know is a little difficult to get the sleek mechanical parts which is the same that's going to be the hard part to get and of course shadow shard which is going to turn into sunbeam now we're going to make this one obsidian like i said let's make sure here are you sure to, you want to evolve your schematic into the obsidian yeoman you better believe i do so let's take it all the way to 130 and that way I can kind of side by side compare it with the other one so you guys can kind of see a difference there too. We might actually just quickly work on these perks too. Uh, I don't want to waste too much time on this because it might take a little bit too much time. Uh, but I do believe that the Yeoman is a weapon that is worth it in that sense. I use it for, well actually I use it whenever I need a sniper that is going to give me pinpoint accuracy for me and also piercing because the yeoman is a snipe, sniper rifle bolt action medieval a powerful rifle that pierces arrow that fires piercing arrows that deal very high damage and impact be mindful that it only holds one shot shot and has no scope or requiring thoughtful skill personally for me i actually prefer it that it doesn't have a scope uh, i don't use it for very long range targets but i i still really i love how it feels I love how it shoots. Uh, it's a really awesome weapon for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go to the perks. Uh, we're going to take all these perks up to rare right now. We're not going to go beyond that for now. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what I've built my other one. So right now, well, let's go. Let's go look at my other one first. Uh, so if we go here, schematics, and we're already on subtype. Let's go find my, where is you? Where are you? Where are my snipers? Yes, I know I need to clean this up. There we are. We've got our bright core and our sunbeam one. Let's just take a look at them side by side. Of course, right now, this is not going to be very good comparison because of course, this one is only in rare perks, whereas this one is gonna be on legendary perks. But <clears throat> the basics of this is gonna be, again, blasting powder 15, 30 efficient mechanical parts, one active power cell, and 11 bright core compared to 13 quartz, which are very difficult to get. The mechanic, the efficient mechanical parts, yes, they are difficult to get, but you know what? You just go punch a bunch of cars and you're gonna get a bunch. Uh, active power cell and 11 sunbeam. I do believe sunbeam is more difficult to get than bright core, so that's gonna be a little beneficial. The basics here, uh, of course, with the bright core, I do have a slightly higher fire rate. Although I do believe that the perks on the Sunbeam one, I do have, no, I don't have fire rate on this one. I don't have fire rate. So actually, I'm actually thinking on this bright core one, I want to make one that's going to be fire rate and reload. So do we have fire rate on this thing? We have reload. We can do double reload. Oh, wow. We don't have a single fire rate in this one. That is unfortunate. Well, it doesn't really matter because it's only one shot. It doesn't matter because it's only one shot. Oh my. Oh my, yeah. We might make this one a double fire rate. We're gonna have fun with this weapon. A double fire rate, um, maybe crit. Um, it could crit rating wouldn't be bad, but you know what? We're gonna keep it damage to miss monsters and bosses up here. Um, we might make it double. Yeah, why do we have afflict in there? You know what? You know what? We're gonna make this a double fire, double reload. This is gonna be a double reload, double reload, double damage to miss monsters with physical. We're gonna keep this one physical, which means that my other one is going to be turned. I might turn this into energy. I don't know what I'm gonna turn this one into, but I'm gonna turn it into something else. Cause in this one I have crit rate, crit rating, double, uh, sorry, crit rating, crit damage damage to miss monsters and bosses physical and reload can we change this a little bit more um this could be we could actually change this one to slow and snared but we don't really want the double uh, the double shot here i kind of wish we had something else here i wish we had man if we had another cr uh, critical here it'd be amazing um this reload one we could actually change this one to crit damage and make it a crit rating double crit damage with let's say energy that could be really nice that could be really nice but we're going to change that one in the future um the other one is going to be a fun weapon for now but let me take it this weapon into a match quickly though i'm going to show you guys what hero loadout i prefer using here uh and that is going to be oh i don't have it perfectly set up though um it's the you know what give me one second and i'm going to show you guys what hero loadout i prefer with this all right so just like that movie magic we're back and we have 
Rapid Radio Jones is here. So really quickly, let me show you guys what loadout I prefer to use here. I like using Rapid Radio Jones. Yes, so you could actually use uh, Redline Ramirez and just kind of, is she Redline? Yes, she is Redline Ramirez. You could use Redline Ramirez here and just kind of flip them over uh, because, you know, she does increase fire rate. But for this particular weapon, since it has a single shot, you don't really need that. You could be better off using someone like uh, Chromium Ramirez to give you a fire faster reload, but we're looking for damage here. And Rabbit Raider Jonesy brings the damage. He's got Sure Shot Plus, which increases sniper critical damage by 225%. I'm going to use Preemptive Strike because for every hero of four, uh, of at least higher uh, of epic or higher rarity with at least four stars i'm going to get 6.5 percent more damage in the first shot so that means that in these five heroes i've got 32.5 percent more damage red line Ramirez is going to give me 15 percent uh it says we have to reload after every single shot we're going to get skull trooper jonesy who is going to give me a, a perks there it is a locked and reloaded after reloading increases weapon damage by 15 percent for five seconds so we just got to get that shot off in the first five seconds we're also going to use mr sub-zero zenith with icy shot sniper critical hits apply water affliction dealing 21 base water damage for three seconds uh, per second for three seconds uh, that's not a lot of water damage but you know what it is something and finally we're going to have battle bead in here because i i do like her using her for extra damage uh in this case though i wouldn't mind changing her out especially if i'm going to be changing this weapon and making it a uh an energy weapon especially the sunbeam one if i change it to energy then i'm definitely going to be putting in mr cyberclops in here because of that energy damage it's got the chance to zap so i would definitely think about changing that out but right now we're just going to leave her here because that's what i put and of course survivalist jonesy who is in every single one of my setups adrenaline rush and stationary hover turret so that's going to be the setup i'm going to be running for the extra damage now that we have this loadout let's go take a look at these weapons again really quickly so i can show you guys how much they've been bumped up now so we're just going to go all the way down and find them again since we have them side by side we'll be able to compare them again so let me go ahead and compare them side by side the one on the right is going to be the sunbeam one if you see that that is skyrocketed now to 125,000 damage 188,000 headshot damage 43% critical hit chance with a 435% crit hit damage. That is going to be, that's going to be a monster hit. That is going to be an absolute monster hit with a 14,000 impact. Now, if you guys check over here on the Yeoman side, it's not going to, on the, sorry, the Bright Core one, uh, the Bright Core one's actually not going to change that much because even though we do have double damage to Miss Monsters and Bosses, so right here, we're going to look at a considerable amount of damage to Mr. Monster Bosses. It's going to be 36, 36, and be 72%. So it's going to be a 72% increase in damage to Miss Monsters and Bosses. Remember that. We're going to probably keep this one physical for extra damage to Miss Monster Bosses. We might change it to energy, actually. We might change them both to energy, actually. Uh, and it's going to have reload speed. Actually, I really want to work on this weapon to try it out because it sounds like it's going to be... You know what? You know what? Let's do it right now. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Oop, no, I don't want to recycle you. Um, let's go ahead and level it up because why not? Ooh, I'm running low on epic. How much do I have? How much? Uh, ooh, okay. All right. You know what? You know what? It's it's a fun weapon. I really enjoy it. I want to use it some more. I'm not really working on other weapons right now. I know I'll regret it later. But there we go. Okay, we have it. It's done. It's done. So now I have a legendary obsidian one, a bright core one. Uh, I actually think I'm going to have a lot more fun with this one than the other one. But, uh, oh, you know what? We're going to change it to energy too, aren't we? If we're going to change it to energy, if we're going to change it to energy, you know what? I'm going to say it again. If we're going to change it to energy. If we're going to change it, we actually we could have changed it to water or fire too to take out those pesky chrome huskies but they're not going to be around very long so let's go ahead and change it to energy uh you guys saw that uh, that damage did did take quite a dive there the damage did take quite a dive right there wow let's check this one it said 125 and 188 if we change it uh it's gonna cost how much is it gonna cost wait oh wait modifying a attribute doesn't cost wait 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 it doesn't cost reaper anymore when did that change good change let me know if anyone knows when did that change that is a good change let's change it to energy 
whew, 107 and 160. So that, that did take a considerable time. It's still going to be a lot of damage though. But the other one is going to be, let's see, the bright core one is going to be at 89 and 133. That is pretty low, but we're looking for that fire rate. Let's change out that command. That's, man, I I'm having too much fun here, guys. I'm having too much fun here. Let's change out the hero loadout. Let's change out battle beat for Cyberclops. And there we go. All right, we're gonna go into a mission right now and we're gonna try both of these yeomans out and see which one, uh, which one's a little better. Let's go. All right, so we are in the game now. We're in the match and check out what we have over there. We have a smasher. Now, currently I have my old one. Uh, I have my previous my previous yeoman that still had the physical and I've got the new energy one I actually want to try both of them out um, Unfortunately, we only have one husk here. No, there's another one. No, is, is that another one? No, I think that's a Blaster isn't it? Or that might be I don't that might be a taker over there sleeping um, But I was kind of hoping that we would have another smasher here. Maybe we'll come across another one, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to use it first against this one. Uh, let's go ahead and ramp up a little bit so we get a, a nice upper shot from him. There we are. Beautiful. Oh, did you see me? You saw me. Oh, that is fast. And as you guys can see, that's why I said the whole thing about uh, the shot thing. Because I am a terrible shot. Look at that. Look how bad of a shot I am. Oh, 236 to the face. 735. 800. Now that one was my physical one. That's my oh, my old one, my Sunbeam one. So this is my Target Sunbeam one. Check out this. That's a pretty fast reload, right? Now check out the new one. <laughs> okay, so who should we try this on first? Let's go ahead and try, let's try the energy one. Let's try the new energy one, okay. Uh, let's try and see if we can't get a headshot here. I am such a bad shot. 172,000. That's not bad. 111. Four. That was that a 490? I don't know how much that was. 111. It looks like we're averaging about 100,000. That is an incredibly fast reload, though. Incredibly fast reload. As you guys can see, I am such a bad shot. Oh my gosh. I I should be ashamed. I should be ashamed. Let's see. There we go. 175. 111. Woo, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, 396. Oh my. So I'm guessing that's the... Whoa, two something? Goodness gracious. Wait, I should be hitting the shots here. What? How am I not hitting the headshots there? Ow! Ow indeed, man. Ow indeed. You know what? This is actually really fun because of how fast. Yeah, let's see. Let's get out of the way. There we are. I should be hitting. It doesn't go through. Wow, it doesn't go through. That is crazy. All right. Um, so we were hitting about a about a hundred. Um, we we're hitting about a hundred thousand. This guy, right? With the energy one. Let's take a look at how we do with the sunbeam one. So the sunbeam one is critical. 70 that was horrible 84 great impact though that impact guys that impact though that impact totally makes up for it 85 87 89 476 to the face okay so it's definitely all about the headshots it's definitely all about the face shots we got to get them face shots uh, let's switch back to the energy one and take a look at what we have here. 112. Okay, and dead. So, as you guys can see there, that... You know what? I don't know how to feel about this. I'm kind of wondering if the Sunbeam one would have been better. Ooh, 318. You know what? Those crits, man. It really is about those crits. They're just kind of standing there holding on, you know, like waiting for me to take them out. <laughs> it's kind of sad, actually. And remember, guys, these do pierce. 
So because these piers here, oh yeah, I'm doing the, the, they're doing the water damage. That's why. Did he just move at the last moment? There's one. You know what? I gotta say, may not need the fire rate. May not need the fire rate. And to be perfectly honest, the fact that this is not hitting harder on the, on the mini bosses, on the smasher, that was kind of sad. I gotta say, that was kind of sad. I really thought that I was going to be hitting much harder on the smasher with this, with this energy one. Man, can't even one hit one of these guys. Huh. That's kind of... I know I can with this. Yeah. The critical one. Huh. You know what, guys? It's got to be about the critical. It's got to be the critical. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, right here, I'm telling you guys. I'm seeing... Uh, you know what? The, the reload... The reload on the Sunbeam one is plenty. The reload on the Sunbeam one is plenty, guys. I don't think you need the double reload one is enough i gotta say i'm probably gonna have to go for a crit rate so i'm gonna have to change this weapon but there you go guys go um right now my original one is blowing the other one out of the water because of those crits those crits are beautiful they are just they're amazing the crits it's all about the crits guys it's really all about the crits so what i recommend actually after this little test is I'm going to focus on crits a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go find these weapons again. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, that's, they're not there. They're up here somewhere. No, they're not here. They're up here, down there somewhere. Where are they? Oh, wait. This is by rating? No, this is by rating. I need them by subtype. There we go. So let's go find my... There we are. My snipers. Um... Yeah, I'm actually thinking of changing this one a little bit. The The reload was great. The reload was fun. It was very fast. But you know what? It's fast enough without it. It's fast enough without it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one reload. Uh, I'm going to change one to crit rating. I'm going to change this to a crit rating. And yeah, I'm going to keep that. Oh, physical. Physical requires reperk. All the other ones don't require anything. That's awesome. That's awesome. I, I thought they required that and reperk. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, we're going to keep a crit, rate, crit rating. Now, we're going to have to do a 43. 300% uh, crit damage is great. But I do think because it's a single hit, you really... A single bullet, I mean. You really, really want that crit rating. So, crit rating. I'm going to keep this one double damage to miss monsters. Uh, with energy and we're going to try and see what happens maybe it's going to be better to make it energy or uh physical i mean i don't know we're going to have to keep it but that's going to be what i'm going to try guys thanks a lot for watching guys let me know what you guys try differently this was a lot of fun this was a lot of fun and you know what i'm actually really happy that i have two yeomans now i'm that's what i'm working towards guys i'm working to have most pretty much every single weapon i want a sunbeam and a and a bright core one it's really worth it to me for that extra little fire rate, the extra uh, durability, actually, and impact in a lot of weapons doesn't really matter. There are some that do matter, but most of them, it's not that important. And there you go. There's the yeoman. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoy this video, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please do me a huge favor and have yourself a fantastic day. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to go get that yeoman. It's an awesome weapon. See ya.